Thanks for joining us today. Uh, you are the Spirit of Shankly patron. Uh, can I ask, what was your reaction when you were asked to put your name to the union? And why did you accept? Um, it was a great honour to be asked. Um, it, it, you know, it's something that I, I believe in. It's a cause I believe in, and that's why I accept it. Because I think, you know, uh, the fans all together, uh, they can really do something to sort of t redress the balance. You know, football has become a bit more about business and money than it really should be, and a, a union is a way of sort of redressing that balance. And why is it people should join the union? There's not much you can do on your own, but you know, with lots of people working together, the Spirit of Shankly is very organised. They look after the fans, and then so they, they're doing things not just on one level of trying to get the owners out and that, but they do things on a on a sort of practical everyday level as well. So I think it's a good thing to be part of. That. So it's not just the the uh, to force the Americans out. No. It's not. A no, it's not just that. It's it's lots of other things as well. They, they, you know, they do sort of summer camps for kids. You know, like teaching them football and stuff like that. They arrange coaches for matches and try and get good conditions for the fan. You know, like good t ticket prices. You know, uh, air tickets or coach tickets, so they're not being exploited because you know they were exploited in the, exploited in those ways as well. You were asked to speak at the rally on Sunday. How did you feel when you got that phone call asking you to do it? I was just thrilled really, I was really thrilled, it's just an honour, anything anything in my granddad's name is an honour. And how did you feel that a rally went yesterday? Oh I think it was fantastic, I think it exceeded everybody's expectations, it was really amazing, the people were amazing and uh, the people who uh, turned up to support mainly, you know, the fans obviously, but also the, the singers and, and artists who turned up as well to show their support. Now you've told us what SOS do on a day-to-day -day basis, what are the long-term aims of the union? Well, obviously first of all, uh, to, to maybe, you know, to get the the owners, the current owners out, obviously that's the first aim, and also to maybe, you know, be able, in the future, to be able to influence uh, the club by owning a percentage of the club through the credit union scheme. What is the credit union scheme? Basically, it's a way of saving, saving the club, um, but also saving your money. So, like, if you only had, for example, a pound and you want to put a pound in a week, you could, you could save it up. You don't need a big lump sum, you know, to to to, to join or whatever to put mm -hmm. in uh, the scheme. And you can slowly, um, you know, save up your money. And in that way, hopefully, we, our long-term aim is to own ten percent of the club, so that we have uh, a say in matters of the club. Do you think that supporter ownership is really achievable? Uh, yeah, I think it, it really is because, um, you know, football without the fans is, I mean, there isn't really a, a game without fans. So the way it's going, like, it's just become business uh, orientated and people aren't really, people aren't thinking about the fans anymore. They're just thinking about how much money they can make. Well, obviously that is a bubble that's going to burst, so, you know, I think a one way to, as I said before, to redress the balance is to bring the fans back into the equation, so I think it's a perfect way to, um, to go forward. There will be some people out there sceptical of the scheme. What can you say to reassure them? You can put the money and take it out whenever they want, first of all, and it's protected. It's not like, um, you know, it's not like a bank in the sense of the, you know, sort of, um, um, like high interest rates and stuff like that and it's a way of protecting the people's interests. Before we go, I'm sure everyone would love to know, do you have any special memories of your granddad? Yeah, I've got lots of special memories but I think um, I think you know when he when he used to come pick me up from school, I used to like it when he used to come pick me up from school because he'd slip me some money. <laughs> first of all, um, but I used to like it when we'd go to the parties at Christmas at Anfield and like you know you'd get to see all the uh, the players and their children and stuff like that. So uh, and when he used to take us out for ice cream because he used to do that quite a lot. That was our favourite yeah. going to for an ice cream with the granddad. So it's the side that the supporters didn't yeah. really see. Yeah. 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 Like, you know, he was my granddad. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, <of course. laughs> <laughs> that, okay. That's brilliant. That's.